Hi, this is Josh Safdie. And this is Benny Safdie. And this is Ronald Bronstein. And, and this, this is the script is the breakdown. Script breakdown. <laughs> Kevin! Hey, hey! So this was a uh, difficult scene for us to swallow because it has so much narrative information in it, and that always feels weird for us. Well, it also was a scene that's a very important scene in the context of the entire film because it plants a very important seed, and it was, it's weirdly, this is one of the scenes that stood the test of, of time with this film. It stood, was there for 10 years. The magnet sometimes doesn't connect. You thought the gem. I'm close to full. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead. There it is. The purpose of this scene is, like Benny said, is very expositional. It's there so that we can lay out, again, the narrative information that ties Howard to KG to the gem, mm -hmm. and brings us towards the climax. But, you know, we're so wary of narrative exposition that then all these other stuff, everything else in the scene is just thrown yeah. in there like, to sort of cover it up so you don't see its purpose in the sort of... Like over Joni interrupting Howard to say, the tag is sticking out on your shirt in case the audience didn't notice it by, by this point. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Which is an allusion to the fact that he slept in the office the night before. I'm trying to get... Tell him goodbye. Goodbye to fucking flawless Roman! Roman, come out here. Oh, shit. You know, it's cool to, to sort of look at this scene adjacent to the actual text in the screenplay, and you just see, wow, you know, once this thing is, like, filtered through the directorial process, you know, the, the whole point is to make it feel like it's being written in real time while it unspools. Mm -hmm. So in a way, you're just erasing the screenplay. You're eradicating it. You don't ever want to expose the whatever intelligence went into it. Listen to me. I got 175 I, I told you this thing's worth over a million dollars. Now, come on, man.